Welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And I'm do a, a little tutorial today on course play. Uh, recently had some jobs that I wanted to do on a couple of farms actually, this one and another one. And there isn't, um, uh, th there's an issue with, well, it's not an issue, but if you own a field, and let's take a look at my HUD here. And it'll show you that I actually own field one and two up here in the corner. Now, I'm, I'm on the Nebraska map. This is my test map. I use this map to, to test things, see how things are working. And so, as you can see, I'm on field number two up in the corner there. And I own field one and two. All right, so... Because it's planted in grass, you can't set a course play course. And normally, if I'd want to set a course play course, I'd go to course play and I'd select uh, field work for, in this instance because I want to mow. And I would go to generate a field and you would uh, put in the field edge path. Well, that only works for fields that you actually own. So, what I want to do is create a course to mow and then automatically pick up the grass and take it to the silo or bunker, if you prefer. So, the other issue is uh, also a field that you do not own. Now, the field that you do not own, if it's other than grass, you don't have any problem but if it's grass you have the same issue you can't create a course so the way you would do it is the old school way which you would generate your own course on a field and that is to go to wherever the field starts which in this case uh, field number two would start right up here somewhere not exactly sure of the boundaries but I'm thinking right about here would be the boundary all right so what you would do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm using what I uh, uh, lovingly refer to as a Starship Enterprise although the first Starship Enterprise was normal colored this is the Starship Enterprise from the evil galaxy so anyway what I want to do is open this up to get the uh, piece of equipment's width. And then I need to lower. All right, so then you go to course play and first of all, you would uh, select what you wanna do. Now, uh, I don't wanna do fertilizer and seeding, I wanna do field work, so I select field work. Now, field work is up and down, up and down, up and down. That's what I want to do. So, normally, if, if this was a field other than grass, I would just go and have course play generate the field. I'm not able to do that, so I'm going to do it myself. And the way you do that is to go ahead and start a course recording. And I'm going to start in this corner right here. And I'm just going to drive around where I assume that the uh, boundaries are for this field. Now, I'm not being completely precise here because I'm just showing you how you would do it. Obviously, field number one has a fence around it. It would be easier because you know where the boundary is. There's the fence around it. But in this case, I'm just assuming that there is a headland around this field. And I'm not being all that precise. I mean, obviously, I just screwed up <laughs> and went at quite an angle there. But we'll get the point. All right, so I come up to my start right here and I'm going to end the course right there now 
if I turn on my little eye here, you can see that I just went around this course. Now, this is where I said I goofed up. I should have came uh, further down and came straight across. It's not going to matter. This is just for, you know, just for uh, tutorial. So, what, what you want to do now that you've got that set up is to actually go over here to Course Generation. We click on that, and it's showing Field 15. That's not right. So, we're currently uh, on a loaded course, which is what I'm doing right here. But, I want to make sure that I have the working width of my piece of equipment, which is 13.3 meters. My starting corner is going to be the southwest. So I select southwest and I want to go north. So I start in a northerly direction. Now here's the important part for what I want to do on this field. I want this piece of equipment to return to this corner. So I'm going to activate this and I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second. Okay, and then you go down here and generate the course. Now, look what it did. Instead of going, you know, all the way around the way I drove, it's showing you that it's now going to go up and down, up and down, because I cho chose field work. It also shows you at the end when it's done that I want this piece of equipment to come back to this corner. Okay, now I can save this, and I'm going to call this Mo field number two all right now I've got that course set and we can actually now run that course let's turn this off and let me button up this piece of equipment all right we're gonna line it up with where we set the course and we're gonna come over here and drive the course and he's spreading out his equipment As soon as that's done he's gonna turn it on and he should start mowing and there he goes Now, like I say, it's going to be easier in field number one because there's actually a fence boundary there, so I'll know where the boundary is. And in this particular instance, I don't really care if I get every blade of grass, so I wasn't too concerned about, you know, the boundaries. Now, just for your information, the fence on this field has no collision on it had that fence had collision on it I wouldn't have got that close to it so I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy work and when he's done I'll come back okay so we're getting close to the end and we'll see if he uh, heads back into the southwest corner and it looks like he's getting ready to So he buttons up his equipment. And he heads back to that corner, just like he said he would. And once he gets there, he will stop. Very good. All right. And he tells us down here that he's done. So we can stop this driver and pull this piece of equipment off the field, get him out of the way. And the reason why I showed you that it was important to set that to where this uh, returns to the first point, that, that that is activated, I'll show you why I wanted it to do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to go get my forage wagon. And what I'm going to do 
is bring the forage wagon to the start point of this field. And I'm going to start a new course that is, I want to start a, co a course of uh, grain transport. So I uh, start recording here and we take off. Quite a drop there. Now, I'm not being very neat in this course because that's not the point. Um, you set up your course to go wherever you want it to go. Uh, I'm just trying to get back to the farm and see if this thing's going to work for us. Uh, normally, I try to set my course play routes up so they don't interfere with other tractors. So if I got more than one tractor running, they're not going to run into each other. I stay on the right side of the road, all that kind of good stuff. In this case, I'm just trying to get from point A to point B as easy as possible. So here would be the trigger point for the grass. So I want to set it up there. And then we're going to head back. I may got a little close there, but we'll find out. And again, I'm not trying to make this course pretty. I'm just trying to make it functional to see if it's going to do what we want it to do. Okay. And we're going to head back up to the starting point of this field. And I'm going to stop it right here. Okay, so I want to save this course. We're going to call it Grass Field 2. To, I, that's either a bunker or a silo. You can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it a silo, even though it's not really a silo. Okay, so now I have this course set up. I'm going to turn that course off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first course that we did which is mow field 2 I'm going to select it and I'll get make sure that it's set on mow field 2 that it's set on field work alright and then I'm going to select the one we just made, grass to silo. Okay, and then I'm going to go back here, and I want to start this course picking up the grass. So, I have actually two courses loaded, but I want to start this one first because I want it to pick up the grass. So, if I did this properly, it should turn the piece of equipment on and it should go to town and start picking up the grass. And it shouldn't take very long for it to do this. This uh, forage wagon is not very large capacity wise. So I'll be back in a second when he's full and we'll see if he does what he's supposed to do. Now the uh, forage wagon is approaching its its capacity, 98, 99, and it's full. So let's find out what it does. If it works properly, it should go back to the starting corner, and that's again important that we set it that way to return to that corner. At that point, it should. Uh, start the second course okay so it, it recognized the second course and it's now going to go deliver the grass now if you want to store your grass 
then you would set the second course to go to the storage silo or bunker. If you wanted to make silage with it, then instead of going to the um, storage point, you would drive across the silage pit. It would then deliver that grass to the silage pit and return to get the rest of it. So you can do either way. If you were doing this with straw in a field, um, you would take it to either a straw silo or you could take it to a straw cell point. And he's storing the grass just like he's supposed to. Now, uh, I, I had quite a small field. I was getting a little worried that there wasn't enough grass on there to fill the, uh, the forage wagon, but there was. Uh, the reason I was worried is because this is the really, really neat part now. Not only did it do what we wanted it to do, this thing now will go back to the field and start off right where it left. So once you have a course set up, every time the grass grows, which is every 24 hours, you've got grass to mow. And so you could uh, set this course up and all you gotta do is line your equipment up, push a button, boom, they're gone and done. Now, he should come back to the starting point and now he's been triggered onto the first course again and he'll go back because he remembers where he stopped. and he'll just be coming back and forth, back and forth, until the field is done. Now this is a field that we actually own that was planted in grass. You can use the same technique on a piece of ground that isn't even a field. And just a minute and I'll show you what, see, now he takes right off and starts right where he left off. Now when he's done, he'll go back to that corner and he'll wait because that there's no more grass to get so uh, but what I mean by that is there are there are patches of grass that are not uh, designated as a field so let's say this grass right here this is not a field this is just grass that was put in the map it's mowable so is this over here you can use that same technique to set up a course to mow and and deliver this so it doesn't have to be a field that you actually own. It can be any piece of grass. And some of these maps have quite sizable pieces of grass. I mean, there's quite a bit of grass right here. So you could set up a little course to mow this every day. Uh, you maybe wouldn't want to use that huge mower, but uh, any mower would work. But at any rate, there we go. He's done. Now, in this case, he doesn't have a full load, so he's going to stop. At, uh, at the stop point and he's gonna say that his job is done. There he is. Case IH Magnum 380 number two has finished its work. I hope this is helpful for you. Um, it's just something that, um, that I needed to do on my farm and I thought, you know what, it might be kind of fun to do a t t tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Visit my farm. I make videos all the time. I'm the Rude Man. And I'll see you there.